people want to know if, if, if they have unexplained fertility, what can we do? What, what kind of chances do they have of, of achieving their goal? Obviously, uh, the chance of success is going to depend on what the actual cause that we discover is. Um, but by definition, somebody with unexplained infertility has been told, has had general testing done, and the testing was quote unquote normal. And so the differences are fairly subtle and um, once we find those differences and respond to them, um, these people should have uh, the best chances of success in their age group. Now, um, I say in their age group because somebody who's 25 is obviously going to have a much better chance of success than somebody who's 44. Each case is different. Uh, but one would expect somebody who's mostly normal, so normal that somebody else couldn't find the problem, is probably going to um, have a very high degree of success.